New concern tonight for one of the most popular rides at the Kansas City Zoo. For the second time in days, the Sky Safari's broken down, and KNBC 9's Brian Johnson was about to get on the ride when it happened, and he's investigating now. Brian? Lara Kelly, we were here on Saturday working on a story about the safety history of that ride, looking into the inspection process, as you said, when the ride broke down. In fact, our photographer was the last person on that ride before it was shut down for hours. Now, the zoo says the ride is safe. They have a daily inspection, and once a year, they completely take the ride apart, making sure everything about the ride is safe. Still, this most recent shutdown comes just one week after dozens of people were stranded for about 45 minutes when even the backup motor failed. To resolve that problem, the zoo purchased a brand new backup motor. The zoo's director says safety is a priority. We're here. We're part of the. We're we're part of the fabric of this town. We've been in it, in business for a hundred years, uh, making sure that our our visitors are safe, our animals are safe, our employees are safe. It's just it's just the utmost importance to, to us. Uh, we want everybody to feel comfortable. You come out to the zoo, have a good time, and not worry about anything. And the zoo is entirely self-insured on that ride. And while we were digging, we actually found out they don't even consider it as a ride. Well, you might ask, well, what difference does that make? It turns out it makes a big difference. Unlike the carousel or the train, there is no state oversight, no state department that inspects the Sky Safari or verifies any inspections. In fact, all of the safety is in the hands of zoo employees only. Reporting live at the Kansas City Zoo, Brian Johnson, KMBC 9 News.